Welcome and thank you for visiting Maria's Art Creations. I'm Maria Dellis. This video will introduce the use of alcohol pinata inks from Jacquard. And um, to tell you a little bit about them, they are absolutely beautiful, vibrant colors with permanent, acid-free, and fade-resistant coverage. These samples are just a few of the surfaces colored uh, with these inks, and uh, this is this is a uh, gourd surface, which is probably one of the more popular followings uh, that I will have with this video. And um, I would like also to address every other surface that these inks will cover, which is also an attraction within the gourd art in uh, mixed media. Um, art world and uh, as you can see this is uh, seashells right here and this is actually a piece of glass and this is what this looks like before as a piece of glass before it's been colored here and um, seashells in, of all different shapes and sizes and this is bone. I've also colored other surfaces and we've got leather, metal, um, more gourd pieces, including um, wood, and over here are eggshells. Yep, you're right. They are absolutely sh the eggshells from breakfast that I rinsed out and turned into a piece of art. So we can have a lot of fun. I will begin with introducing you to the inks and how you purchase them on Maria's Art Creations. There, <clears throat> there are um, 18 colors and you will need the Claro extender which is very necessary um, to use with the inks. And we're going to use a piece of wax paper. And this is this is always necessary, but if you'd like to follow with me uh, with this video, as you can repeat the process and get more familiar each time you watch it. Uh, a micro brush, a cosmetic sponge. This is optional, but it is really a great benefit to the use of the Claro extender poured into this fine mister spray. And then if you need to clean off your fingers or your work surface or a small unwanted area that the ink has um, perhaps dripped onto and use regular rubbing alcohol. Otherwise it's denatured alcohol with uh, the use of the ink that will allow uh, all of this to happen. These colors are just beautifully vibrant in uh, coverage. However, I'm going to use already an opened container of color. As you can see I dipped the cap into the color of the ink which then I could reach and comfortably know exactly what I want to um, to uh, show you tonight. And these are just a few that I would like to offer on how these colors work. And Preparing the uh, surface, be, also beware that these are uh, very exciting to work with, but most people don't know how to use them. So I would like to uh, perform for you, show you how they work, but I ask you to be very, very careful and not go directly to the surface of your art ex intended art or coloring until you've well played with uh, the inks and see how they work, okay? It is very important that you practice. Now when you're going to be using metallic colors that they all need to be shaken, you will take the cap off and make it easier for yourself on the next time you go to use them because when you shake with the cap on, the ink goes inside the cap, making it very complicated to uh, open the next time. So I take the uh, cap off and I shake it listening to the ball inside which it gives all of the movement of the metallic ink and disperses it in evenly into the, the uh, container. 
So let's begin with, um, I think what I'd like to share with you is the uh, extended surfaces other than gourd art just for the moment. We're talking glass, metal, plastic, leather, there's a little piece of leather here, you know, and um, basically every imaginable surface there is, seashells. What, uh, the slicker the surface, the better the performance of the ink. So therefore, if you have something porous, such as a piece of leather, we need to treat it with a quick coat of Maria's Art Creations varnish. This happens to be, the, right now I just grabbed a gloss. It's indoor, outdoor varnish, beautiful coverage, water-based polyurethane, and uh, covers every surface there is. Well, I'm going to use a little bit from my work bottle with a sponge directly to the leather. Just giving it a quick coat. This is also very quick drying varnish. And you could proceed within a minute of adding varnish to a surface that you think needs to be covered, such as wood also. Wood's very important that you cover um, with a quick coat of varnish. This is already dry and dry enough in other words to to apply the ink but let me set that aside for a moment and go to the metal now the metal surface this is a very inexpensive piece of metal from the hardware store but i would like to give you an idea of how attractive uh, we can turn that into something uh, with some beautiful color i will uh, use the baja blue and the lime green ink directly to the surface and like I said, the slicker the surface, the more um, the ink sits without drying or absorbing so quickly as it does to the other surfaces. Therefore, wet on wet, as I will explain many times throughout my videos, that wet on wet with these inks are very, very important uh, to get. Uh, the the mobility and the movement and the gorgeous ways that they marbleize into each other. So what I'd like to do is give it a transitional um, um, interaction by allowing a neutralized white in the middle of these colors. Well, as you can see, not too much is happening. This little cup um, holds the... Uh, extender that's necessary to use as I pointed out to you in the bottle but I'm going to use this now as my working um, now look at what it does as soon as the alcohol begins to to move also have a handy uh, a baby wipe handy and in between the dipping you will want to sort of wipe off some of it so we don't keep dipping and putting it in so it could have a chance to muddy when you use multiple colors. Right now, this is how it is placed uh, to interact with other color on the same piece. And I see I'm wiping it off. Isn't that pretty? And oh gosh, it's, it's endless what you can do with these inks. Um, it's pretty hard to stop actually. Well there's some pretty marbleized color. Now I'm going to add a drop of gold. Be very very careful when you use gold as you can see how intense that one drop came out. Well I want to disperse it so you see I added a little alcohol and I'm sort of just pushing it in place because I don't want to put another drop of, of uh, that gold on it's going to take over the small little area and um, look at how pretty that is if you can see the be beautiful color see how vibrant that strong that gold is and by touching on it with the alcohol you can see it move if it doesn't then it's too dry add more alcohol just to get the interaction going now this is already dry this piece of leather 
it has a little sheen to it so it's been protected with the uh, with the ink this one I believe I'm going to uh, attempt some of the um, earth tone colors so I'm going to go into um, an orange and notice that nothing is happening they're just little dots but we don't want to leave those dots like that uh, to dry because you're going to be stuck with a dot so while it's still wet and as you can see nicely it has not absorbed into the leather it's sitting on the top by being protected by the the varnish well I'm going to add another drop of burrow brown to the orange and to the white taking my micro brush and just allowing it to interact marbleize and give the beauty these inks are capable of doing with such gorgeous color and let's just say I added a little too much white personally I think I did well I would like to just add another drop of brown here and maybe here just a, one one squeeze and bring a little bit more alcohol to it the Clairol extender and now you've got look at that how lovely well you see the added uh, amount of ink continues to remain on the top which will dry within five to ten minutes but if you have too much you can catch what little bit of what you consider ex an excessive amount and just catch it with the with the sponge and and that's it don't touch it any further allow it to dry uh, those are um, just the the leather can be associated with the same need of varnishing uh, a porous piece of wood the metal is also the same thing as uh, glass and plastic we're running a little bit out of time here so unfortunately I can't show you every single surface but I do want to show you a quick demonstration on the gourd this is just a naturally cleaned uh, little shard piece of gourd and when um, you girls uh, and your uh, gentlemen artists who have um, wood burned um, perhaps even created um, you know a pattern such as on here and um, you have boundaries that is a considered a controlled method of um, adding the ink and I'm going to show you what I mean by that is we'll use the ink on the wax paper as a as your palette okay and then from there we're going to take it to the gourd if you were to drip, you'll drip in, there, there'd be no control and you drip into other areas that you want other colors, specific colors to remain as they are. And, um, you know, that way you, you pretty much um, are disappointed with how that interacts. But I'd like to show you the controlling. And also we can go pretty quick in... Um, even though this is a small little micro brush size, you can you will see how quickly we can add color um, to this. Now here is just a, a little idea of maybe why we're going to use the mist sprayer is if you have an extended amount of surface and you're lucky to not worry about boundaries. See already what's going on with the dripping. I'm going to catch it. And um, it's already it left its mark in, in that way, which can be considered quite attractive. And um, how about if I neutralize some of this? And as you can see now, I have to make sure that I turn it so I am not overusing the white so it has a chance to drip. But what I want it to do, the white, is to drip into this passion purple color that I would like to lighten up over here and then I'm not going to pour directly on the surface with the gold because it's so intense I'd like to add the alcohol clearal extender and then putting it see that how pretty that gold is 
taking another one and bringing it over here when the use of the alcohol clairol extender at the same time allows it to 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 move almost like the display of fireworks uh, you see how it's forming its pretty rings around I think um, uh, from other work that I have used purple and green together has really shown a very lovely color and um, I'm going to use uh, lime green and again I poured it but now I want to caution you that you until you get really good at what you're doing you could just put too much it will drip all over and you'll lose uh, your intention of, of what you want to do but now the little bit of white that I had left over from the previous I'm going to wipe off my my babe my uh, with the baby wipe my micro brush and you see how one drop of ink between the purple and the green starts interacting then let's put a drop of the gold carefully into the green I really honestly have to tell you as even as I'm looking in the monitor this does not do it justice by the beautiful color that I'm looking at but that's the general idea of how you want to move your color I would caution you too little ink does not give you the results that you want so you have to be uh, you know using a, a generous amount of ink but not enough to cause it to drip and make a mess all over the place well I have um, come to a time that I need to quit this video anyway I intend to do so many more and continue elaborating on more uh, of the use of of all my products but the alcohol ink right now is one of the biggest hits and desired um, uh, techniques that people are seeking so what I would like to ask of you please is if you let me know that this video was helpful um, please add your comments below this video and then also I request for future videos that I would like to make and, and display for you please give me your input and tell me what you would like to see more of um, to view more of the work and the showing of results in artwork uh, of what these inks have done to, to my art uh, please visit mariasartcreations.com click on the gallery for more video techniques as well um, and that is in the technique so between the gallery and the technique you'll have um, a lot to view thank you for watching and I look to release more videos for you thank you for visiting mariasartcreations.com